9 question number 15 it says we have four boxes and each box contains three red and two blue balls so we have four boxes box one box two box three and box four now each of these they contain three red and two blue so it'll be three red two blue and three red and two blue and it says all 20 balls are distinct in how many ways can 10 balls be chosen from these four boxes so that from each box at least one red and one blue ball are chosen so from each box we are choosing at least one red one blue one red one blue one red one blue one red and one blue so we have eight balls now we are left with two more to draw now these two they may come from either same box or from two different boxes so we have two cases case one they may come from same box now if they come from same box then first we have to choose that box so of these four it can be anyone so it'll be this 4c1 and once we have this chosen box we'll have two cases case one either it will be three red one blue or it will be two red and two blue so this is our first case when these two remaining balls they are chosen from one box and for the remaining three boxes it will be simply one red and one blue now considering the second case when we have drawn these two balls from two distinct boxes so we are going to draw balls from two boxes now which two there will be 4c2 now that means from the chosen two boxes we have to select three balls each now these three balls it may be either two red one blue or one red two blue for each of the two boxes and for the remaining two boxes it will be one red and one blue so these are the two possible cases so total number of ways of doing it it is given by this n now this is 4c1 now 3 red 1 blue so from this box it is 3c3 and 1 blue is 2c1 plus 2 red this is 3c2 and 2 blue is 2c2 then for the remaining three boxes we have 1 red and 1 blue so 1 red is 3c1 and 1 blue is 2c1 whole cube plus this is 4c2 now 2 red 1 blue 3c2 2c1 1 red 3c1 2c2 and this is the same for the second box also into now for the remaining two boxes 1 red and 1 blue so this is 3c1 into 2c1 square now this is 4 now this is 2 plus 3 into 6 cube plus 4c2 is 6 now this is 6 plus 3 square into 6 square so it will be 4320 plus 17 496 which is 21816 so total number of ways of drawing these balls is 21816 and that's your option A now another method of solving the same question can be using multinomial expansion now from each box we must select at least one red ball so suppose choosing red ball is x and choosing a blue ball is y so any one red ball will be 3c1x two red balls 3c2x square and three red balls there will be 3c3 into x cube and for blue balls any one blue 2c1 into y plus 2c2 into y square now this situation is same across all the four boxes so total number of possible combinations will be this expression to the power 4 now this is 3x plus 3x square plus x cube to the power 4 into 2y plus 
y square to the power 4. Now in this expansion, for each case we have selected at least one red and one blue. Now we need to select altogether 10 balls. Now in this expansion we have to find coefficient of x to the power 4, y to the power 6 which is 4 red, 6 blue or 5 red, 5 blue or 6 red and 4 blue. So in this expansion we have to find these coefficients. Now if we take x and y common then we can write x to the power 4 into y to the power 4 will be 3 plus 3x plus x square to the power 4 into 2 plus y to the power 4. So we have x to the power 4 and y to the power 4 with each term. That means we have to find coefficient of either y square or xy or x square in the expansion of 3 plus 3x plus x square to the power 4 into 2 plus y to the power 4. Now since highest power is 2, so when we expand, we won't look for any powers which are higher than 2. Now we'll solve this using binomial, taking this as a and this as b. So we'll write this as 4c0, 3 plus 3x to the power 4 plus 4c1 3 plus 3x cube into x square and then it will be your higher powers of x and here it will be 4c0 2 to the power 4 plus 4c1 2 cube y plus 4c2 2 square y square. Now 4c0 is 1. Now if we expand this we can write 4c0 3 to the power 4 plus 4c1 3 cube into 3x plus 4c2 3 square into 3x square again neglecting higher powers and plus 4c1 and this is 3c0 3 to the power 3 into x square and here we'll have 2 to the power 4 plus 4c1 2 cube y 4c2 2 square y square now 3 to the power 4 is 81 now this is 81 into 4 it'll be 324x plus 81 into 6 plus 27 into 4 and that will be 594x square and here it will be 16 plus 32y plus 24y square. Now here we need coefficient of y square, coefficient of xy and coefficient of x square. And this coefficients of y square it will be 24 into 81 coefficient of x square will be 594 into 16 and coefficient of x y will be 324 into 32 now if we add these three we'll get this as a 1944 plus 9504 plus 10368. Now if we add them, it will be 21816, which is same as previous answer. So answer to this question is this option A.